Good morning, Year 3. It's Thursday the 4th. This is your guided reading. It's a newspaper article. So this sentence here is called a headline. And I can see that my headline is, um, what do you call it when all the words start with the same letter? My headline is alliterated. The words in red are words that you might not be sure about. And the word settlement means, um, well, let's right click and see. Settlement means, oh, means village or community or town. So scientists search C for Stone Age villages, for, um, for Stone Age places where people live. But they're searching C. That's a bit strange. Uh, this is my, um, that's my byline. And it's by Dr. Billerun from the University of Hamburg, that's in Germany. It's, what a funny map. I was just about to show you Germany, but I don't know where Germany is on that map. Anyway, let's have a look at this part of our newspaper article. This is called the, um, the lead sentence. Right, here goes. On Wednesday, a crew, what does crew mean? Crew means oh, a team, a group. On Wednesday, a crew of British and Belgian, that's from Belgium, a crew of British and Belgian scientists set off on their voyage, or voyage, what's voyage mean? Voyage means journey or expedition. So a group of scientists set off on, a, on their journey across the North Sea to search for ancient Mesolithic, Oh, I know what that is. We've been studying that in humanities. That means um, from the Stone Age, doesn't it? Um, to search for Mesolithic settlements, villages, hidden beneath the waves. So these villages, these old villages are um, underwater. Oh, how strange. Next paragraph. It says here, Almost eight millennia. What does that mean? Eight millennia. Simlins. It actually means 8,000. Almost 8,000 years ago, a vast... What does vast mean? Vast means a huge, massive, sizable. So almost 8,000 years ago, a massive land area between England and southern Scandinavia. Scandinavia is these countries, isn't it? Plus um, a few more. So this area was home to thousands of Stone Age settlers. Settlers are people who live in a settlement, so villages. It was home to thousands of Stone Age settlers. The area was flooded when Arctic ice started to melt and sea levels began to rise. I showed you that, guys, in class with the clay and the blue paint. Do you remember? I showed you it when we were talking about how fjords were made when the sea flooded, making fjords. Now, this map is remarkable. I can make out um, the UK, an island, but we're joined to... And this part of land here used to be above water. And that bit of land there is called Doggerland. Goodness knows why Doggerland. But nowadays it's underwater because the sea flooded in. And the seawater flooded in because all the ice caps, all the ice, because it was cold, melted. And then uh, poof, it was gone. Dear. Britain used to be joined to Europe in the past. Interesting. It says here, the ancient, what does ancient mean? The ancient, what does ancient mean? Oh, prehistoric, archaic. The ancient country known as Doggerland formed an important land bridge between Britain and Northern Europe. It could have had great Plains or plains. Oh, lowlands, flatlands, valleys. It could have had great plains with rich soils, which would have been a pleasant place to live. Hmm. 
the spell wrong. The scientists plan to dredge the bottom of the sea. What does dredge mean? Dredge means oh, dig up, comb, search, scour, rummage. So the scientists plan to dredge, dig up the bottom of the sea in the hope of finding clues about life in the Mesolithic period. So they're going to scrape the bottom of the sea to see what they can find. Captain Gaffney said, we hope to reveal for the first time, we hope to, what to reveal mean? We hope to show for the first time the culture and lifestyle of the prehistoric Britons who flourished. What is going on here? We hope to reveal for the first time, we hope to show for the first time the culture and lifestyle. Um, is that about how they lived, the culture and how they lived um, of the prehistoric Britons? Prehistoric means very old. Britons means people who lived in Britain who flourished. What does flourished mean? Flourished means thrived, prospered, blossomed boomed, grown, grown. So the people that were doing very well there. So they hope to show how the people who lived there were living there really well. And they lived there for 6,000 years, six millennia. Ooh, look at that. That's Doggerland. And that's where these prehistoric people lived. Not anymore. Let's have a look at the questions. Look up the meaning of the red words in a dictionary or online. Or I've just looked them up um, on Word. Where is Doggerland? Oh, I know where Doggerland is. Isn't it there? I can see that. I can see that. Or I could say, I could look at the map and say it, couldn't I? Um, do you think the headline is effective? Mm, is it effective? Do I like it? Mm. You can have a go on your own. What are the scientists looking for? Are they looking for bodies? Nah, bodies wouldn't be left, would they? What are they looking for? It's in this paragraph here. Um, and it says, why is Britain now an island cut off from Europe? I've got to go back. What happened to it? I think we could see it probably in there. I have a go at that comprehension and um, and please use full sentences and your cursive writing.